So your son is very not informed this uh, Sunday evening visit to Mr. Gaff. Yes, um, it's to pay respect to my boss as uh, yeah, his former minister and also as a father of a nation. Uh, also, I came to inform him that, uh, yes, the elections are over. And after all the hulubalu, I was elected a senator of the Federal Republic. So I'm now a senator-elect, and I've also shown him my certificate. And for me, this was very significant, because when I joined him in 2018, I also decided to go back to the Senate, to the upper chambers. But of course, uh, he was not the will of Almighty God, so I ended up as a minister, for which I'm deeply grateful, and I remain indebted to him. So I thanked him for the appointment. I thanked him for the opportunity to serve Nigeria in that capacity, and also to let him know that we'll continue to pray for him, so that God will continue to sustain him as we move forward. And as the transition from him to the incoming president, Abuola Ahmed Chinubu, that God will continue to give Nigeria peace, and through them, that progress will remain our portion in the country. I think that's all about it. I'm excited that he received me, and I will continue to come. Have you discussed about your aspiration to become the president of the 10th Senate? Yes, I've, I've mentioned to him, and I, I told him that, uh, yes, indeed, that I intend to uh, vie for the office of the Senate president of the 10th uh, Assembly of the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And, uh, and he was happy to hear that. So what is Senator Akwabio bringing on board? Oh, a, a lot of reforms. Akwabio is uh, known uh, as an uncommon transformer. Akwabio is uh, known as a man who is result-oriented. Uh, I recall that when I was a governor, I brought so many innovations to bear, infrastructurally, educationally, socially, and otherwise and also in terms of human empowerment. So I intend to bring a lot of reforms into the Senate in the ways and manner we do business to assist the next administration to succeed. Uh, we will be very thorough in doing everything. We will bring about loyalty to the Constitution. We will bring about loyalty uh, to Nigerians. We will tackle issues through legislation to empower Nigerians, and particularly the youths. The restiveness that we are seeing across the nation we we'll do our best to make good laws and to assist the administration to bring about policies that will empower the youths of the country. I, I made that promise even on the convention day that being a man who, who used to turn boys into men and who still do, that I'll be glad to work with the incoming president who has also shown that example in Lagos that when he was a governor and thereafter as a leader of the APC in Nigeria, he has continued to turn boys into men. And as president of the country, after his swearing in, I expect that he will continue to do so. So the youths are in for a very good time in terms of empowerment. There will be no time for slacking. And then we will restrict a lot of them from being lured into criminality, into brigandage and all that. So we will get them working. And I believe strongly, with the help of God Almighty, that both the National Assembly and the executive will do a lot for the youths of this country. So how has been your consultations with other lawmakers and the governing APC? Yes, I've, I've been doing that. I've, I've done a lot of consultations, and they, they've been very positive and well received. In fact, it's almost like a, like a woman who was already eight months pregnant, just a month to deliver. <laughs>